Well, hello there. This is Joe at I Repair Electronics. And, uh, having a little trouble with my old, uh, BK function generator. It's, uh, not exactly the cleanest output. Um, and we're gonna work on fixing that. As you can see, I already have it open. Um, and have it set for about, oh, 5 kilohertz here. And on the scope, we're going directly into the scope from the B and K on this blue BNC here right now. And as you can see, it's a triangle wave when, in fact, I have the sign pushed in. So that's not right. So I looked up the manual and found uh, this. This is the service manual inside the B and K. Um, and to your right, R50 and R55. Here are sign distortion one and two. So R50 and R55 are these two guys here. So what we're gonna do is a couple of things we're gonna tie this thing into the distortion analyzer the HP 334A some of you may own one some of you may wish to own one it's a pretty darn good uh, distortion analyzer and I'm going to show you how to set it up right now so the first thing you got to do on this is set this to function okay uh, turn this control, the sensitivity control, all the way down. Since you don't know what you're going to set into it, flip this up to manual mode. Um, and pull your cables out of the way so you can, YouTube viewers can see what's going on. Alright, so first thing, take our fancy blue BNC through the adapter into this distortion analyzer to set our level so as you can see it's pretty strong as it is right now um, so you want to turn this down all the way and then adjust it so that you have um, you're on full scale here where it says uh, RMS volts you want to get the full deflection right there and you want to keep it there whilst oops that's why it was so hot okay first you set this the set level to 100 and then also you should center your fine and balance controls uh, I'm expecting 5 kilohertz so having this on times 1k that's fine um, right then we adjust we want to make sure around set level and adjust the sensitivity and of course now we can go up a bit more and let's knock it back bring it up to about a third with this the vernier all the way down so you can adjust it to full scale and you want to set that to 1 because we're going to be reading either off of the 1 scale or the 3 scale for distortion. As you can see, the distortion analysis is here. So we go from 30 to 10 to 3 to 1 to 0.3 to 0.1 for all the various uh, s scales. So depending on... Uh, where this is at, if it's a, a 3, then we go to the 0 to 3 scale. If it's a, a 1, we go to a, a, the 0 to 1 scale. Okay. Alright, so now we've got that all set. Switch it over to distortion. And course tune in to our 5 kilohertz signal back a little bit 
and you can see the meter deflecting down. Coming down, coming down, coming down. And um, oh, also want to show you the output as well. So and take the output, hook it into the scope. Should have done this earlier, but okay. So we have to increase the sensitivity. So uh, let me just tune this out of range for a moment, and you can see the. Uh, The pattern of what's coming in to the uh, distortion analyzer is all triangular and as I tune get closer to nulling out the waveform it comes down all right and we want to get that down as far as we can so this is the the nulling process and uh, you just have to keep on doing that. So uh, as I get down, we're going to get further and further down. Um, what did I say it was at? Five kilohertz, right? So I can, yeah, I'm at times one. We can either do it here or we could move the oscillator up a little bit. To, or we could go up to 50 and knock it down this way, which also achieves the same thing. It's whatever portion of the dial you feel like setting it to, it's really no big deal. And um, also on this uh, analyzer, anything above 1K, this uh, the fundamentals. Uh, switch has to be in if we're below 1k you switch it out as just a high pass filter okay so we're nulling down we're getting tuned and dialed in so to speak you can adjust it with the fine adjustment over here and Course adjustment here. I'll try and get both images in while I'm doing this. Let me turn this up so you can start seeing the spikes as it's uh, as the meter is nulling out, attempting to null out the waveform and to see how it how it works on it. And do a little balancing so. Right now, that seems to be about as good as I can get it. Let's hit the auto. Maybe it'll push it down. I'm going to leave it on manual because I'm, I still need to adjust the trim pots. So, I'm going to go and adjust uh, R50 here. Uh, and we'll see if we can get this in a little better. Doing better. A little bit. Let's go the, a little more the other way. Oh, that's looking. We're get, getting into a centered position. Then there's also distortion two, which is over 55, which I'm adjusting now, and that's looking much better. So, okay, so we're at a place where we can actually increase the sensitivity on the meter. So we're gonna knock this down, knock it down again. And uh, this also affects the output. So we could uh, adjust that a little bit. So, uh, you know, we can work it a little more, see if we can get this to uh, dial in a little better. So I'm just gonna go back and forth between the uh, R50 and R55. And,
Now that, this uh, meter is going to want to swing quite a bit uh, with the tiniest adjustment of the uh, trimmer pots because of the increased sensitivity it's at now. So uh, I don't think I'm going to get much better than this. Let's, um, what's our distortion level anyway? We're, we'll go down one more notch. So right now we're on the uh, uh, three scale. So we want to go up to, let's knock down this, knock this down to auto and oh, that takes it down nicely. So let's just leave it on manual. Right now, it looks to be about, what, um, uh, on a 0 to 3 scale, just just below 2% distortion. Okay, so let's just take a look at what the actual waveform looks like now. And that's a whole lot better, isn't it? Yeah, that's much better. That looks like a real sine wave compared to uh, the triangle wave, which I was getting before, which if I hit the triangle button, that's what we were getting before, and that's what we're getting now. So that's, a, that's an actual sine wave. Now, I know uh, you might be screaming at me, well, this distortion's real, very high, and yeah, it is, but, you know, look at this equipment this this is not the greatest piece of equipment and uh these trimmers could also maybe be replaced or maybe i could just get myself a much better uh function generator not going to get any great shakes out of it i just want to show you uh, how you can utilize distortion analyzer to tune up your equipment a bit and uh, also how to use a distortion analyzer or this old one from uh, Hewlett Packard that's that so anyway that was just a quick little demo and uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, leave your likes dislikes comments and subscribe so this is Joe from iRepair Electronics and go out and fix something.